Day two of the Subaru National Road Series, the Caterpillar Underground Mining, Tour of Tasmania. Stage two from New Norfolk to the stunning shores of Lake Pedder was a 124 kilometre road race. I think it's going to be um, pretty windy out there, so keep up the front and the crosswinds and then um, try and be in position for the final climb. first 38k is open and going to be very windy so it could definitely split especially if our team gets organized and puts it in the gutter there were a number of early breaks that failed to succeed that would gave the sprinters a chance to stretch their legs Throughout the stage, the peloton faced a number of significant climbs over a consistently undulating course. A number of lead breaks got away, though only briefly as the fast descents brought them back with ease. The rolling hills are just phenomenal at the back. There's unclassified hill climbs everywhere. And the, the mainlanders aren't, I don't think they've ever seen some roads like this. They've never seen them before. Over the final King of the Mountain, it was a select group that formed, containing many of the overall GC contenders. So the overnight leader, Ben Dibel of Genesis Wealth Advisors, was dropped early, so the team was forced to work hard to chase down the break. Probably going to be one of the hardest stages of the tour today. A um, bit of everything in terms of terrain, and we've got wind, decent field, um, and a lot of guys lost some time yesterday, so it'll be really aggressive racing right from the word go. Uh, the guys are all ready, they know the course, they know what they have to do, it's just a matter of executing that now. Within the final five kilometres, Darren Lapthorne of Draypack Professional Cycling made one final break from the leaders. Following on from that successful break in the last kilometre, it was Darren Lapthorne of Draypack Professional Cycling taking the win ahead of Jay McCarthy of Jayco Apollo VIS and Mark O'Brien of Budget Forklifts. It was a great stage. Um, it was a lot harder than I thought. Plenty of decent climbs and um, our team, we went hard from the, from the gun and our goal was to be as aggressive as possible and, uh, and isolate Genesis a little bit. And in the end, I think we got a quite decent gap. So, uh, you know, it's, a, it's uh, great to get the stage win, but it's a bonus to get some time from um, our sort of disastrous uh, team time trial yesterday. As a result of Mark O'Brien's third in the day's stage, he now wears the Caterpillar Underground Mining Tour of Tasmania leader's jersey.